I welcome you to this video which is the continuation of our antonyms topic itself. Yes. So in the second video what did we see? We saw about the types of antonyms and few questions and now what we are going to do is we are going to solve few questions which are quite common in the most repeated patterns that we face in the verbal ability test. Yes. So with that note let's move on to our first question. So he was wearing two different colored socks. Okay. So the word that we've got here is different. Yes. So previously itself we saw. So what is different? Yes. So he's wearing two different colored socks. So with that understanding, let's move on to our four options. Same, divided, related, unique. Okay. So it's a very simple question, right? So it depends. Every question paper has different level yes of the questions being asked yes so you can see that it is basic intermediate advanced and professional right so you have four types yes so when it comes to your basic questions, you will get questions like these, very simple ones. You just need to understand the words. Probably it would come like from the basic 500 to 1000 words if you know in a particular language. Common words, you will be able to crack these kind of questions because it's going to be simple. Yes, difficult and highly difficult. Yes, so you can say low, easy, low or easy, medium, difficult also. So it will have under three categories or four levels in English. So you have to identify if you are a beginner or an intermediate or an advanced or a professional. Okay, so it is very important that you find out in which category you are. Okay, whether it's basic, intermediate, advanced or professional. So if you are in a basic or beginner category, what do you need to do? You might be very well versed with say 500 to 700 words to communicate or whatever it is. So you need to develop, you have to move to the next category to become an intermediate or an advanced or professional. So categorize yourself and then start preparing. So it is a simple example that you might come across in a antonyms topic, right? Yes, the next one. So Billy was excellent student in physics and biology, okay? So pick an appropriate antonym for the word excellent, right? So excellent, so what are they telling? The student is doing too good. So you have to go for a word that is opposite to excellent, right? So good means the same. Poor, yes, it's the opposite. Terrible, again a negative word, yes? Bad is again a negative word. So just look at the options that's being given. So what you can do, you know that good will not be the right option. So eliminate that word. So now you are left out with three words. What are they? Poor, terrible and bad. So, so now we need to pick up an antonym, right? So when you need to pick up an antonym, if you had two or three words that mean the same, it would have been easy for you to choose your option. But now you have three words which are giving a negative tone yes it's giving a negative tone so it's quite difficult for you to identify which is going to be the right option so yes now what we are going to do is we are going to pick up the most appropriate word in this particular sentence right so excellent so excellent is above good right when you say when you are categorized they say good and excellent so it is again one grade higher than good so good and bad. So bad cannot be your option. So now what happens? You're left out with two options only. So terrible and poor. So terrible or poor. So poor is actually the right option because excellent is you're, you're grading them. You're categorizing them in two different degrees. So you can choose it as excellent and poor. All right. So your option B is the right answer. Okay. So now let's move on to the next question. Right. So please empty the trash after you are done working. Okay. So empty. So you have to find out the antonym for the word empty. So what are the options given? Sad, full, dark, incomplete. Okay. So empty 
what tone is the word empty it gives you a negative tone right so you need to check out for the words that are in this negative context itself so whichever is in the negative context it will not give you a uh, antonym right it will give you a synonym so let's start eliminating those words so empty sad this cannot be the right option okay full it could be the right answer next dark no next incomplete no so empty the antonym of empty is full all right now let's move on to the next question so he has an aversion to milk okay so aversion this might be a new word to you as well so what do we do is when you are facing such words you have to try understanding the meaning of the sentence so he has an aversion so what can be this word aversion to milk right so we might think aversion is liking or disliking yes or maybe allergic yes so it these are the options that it could be when it's a new word so when you find out the meaning of this word it will be very easy for us to find out the antonym of it right so dear loving liking pet okay so it has four options so loving dear so dear cannot fit in logically it cannot fit in over here loving liking is the same you know it gives you the same meaning right so next pet it will not logically fit in so we are left out with two options right so loving and liking so mostly aversion a this word a can give you a contradictory meaning only yes so with that understanding when we go your liking would be the right option for the word aversion yes next so our fifth question is the speaker was unable to pacify the crowd so what can the speaker require okay what will he think in mind when he is approaching the crowd the audience see as a speaker i would think that my audience should feel satisfied content happy and they should understand what i am trying to say yes so i want to please them and make them feel liked yes so this is what the speaker might think so if that is the case pacify would also mean the same right but now what do we need we need the antonym of the word pacify right so now let us go and check for the options so pacify means like i was telling you few other words right to make them feel happy contented right liked and all that so if any word that is giving you a positive meaning then that cannot be our answer because we are looking for an antonym right so we have the first word excite so which is a positive tone so it cannot be the right option so antagonize let's see threaten so why should the uh, you know like why should the author or the speaker wants to threaten the crowd no so that cannot be a right option next because i already told you it's not uh, the word choosing the word alone is not important it should be logically right as well then challenge no so hence we are left out with the only option which is antagonize so what is antagonize antagonize is to feel disliked yes so hence your option b is the right answer six her officer was a very strict person so what is the opposite for strict we have four options pleasant open hearted lenient and indifferent okay so you have to look out for the positive tone words here so what are the positive tone words pleasant open hearted lenient are the positive tone words indifferent cannot be a right answer so now we are left with three so strict and pleasant so pleasant the opposite is unpleasant so this cannot be a right answer so open hearted yes when you want to tell something open hearted the opposite is close hearted so that also cannot be an option but strict the direct opposite word to strict is lenient so hence your option c is the right answer so our next question spurious drugs can prove to be fatal so something that could be fatal fatal is that could cause death right so spurious drugs which means that it which is very harmful which are not genuine yes so now when we are going to look at the opposite of it that is the antonym so virtuous is true inferior it is no way connected right genuine contemptuous so now looking at our options so which is our right answer genuine 
So the opposite of spurious is genuine. So genuine drugs could not prove to be fatal. If you're going to look at the opposite of the entire sentence, right? Next, the paucity of good teachers is the chief reason for the present condition of these schools. Okay. So what is paucity? So yes, paucity means not having enough teachers, right? So when you're looking at the opposite of it, presence, surplus, appointment, retention. Yes. So the paucity means not having enough. So what is the opposite? It should be more. So which word means more? You have to look at that. Presence, surplus, appointment, retention. So surplus means more. Yes. So your right option is surplus for this question. Next. There are infinite stars in the sky. So infinite means, you know, uncountable. So what is the opposite of it? Definite, uncountable, limited, immortality. So immortality and uncountable will not be the right option. So we have definite and limited. So limited means it's there, but it has certain limit. But the exact opposite of infinite is definite. So your option is definite. Next. Reckless driving causes accidents. So reckless means without any care. Yes, you just drive just like that. So what is the opposite of it? Careful, slow, good, correct. So careful is your right option. Next, he is frugal in his spending. So what is frugal? Very less, minimum, right? So what is the opposite of that? Economical, extravagant, miserly, greedy. So economical is again minimal. So economical will not be the right option. So extravagant is the word exactly opposite to frugal. So miserly and greedy is also not the right option. So the opposite word of frugal is or the antonym of frugal is extravagant. So next, you are not allowed to talk aloud in the library. So allowed means to pay away. So allowed is with sound, right? So choose the right antonym for allowed. So what is the right antonym for allowed? Deny. Okay, so accept and agree is not the right option. Next, choose the right antonym for allowed. Allowed is more, you know, loud noise. Calm, silent, loud. So allowed is, the opposite of allowed is calm, right? So this is your right option. So I hope this video of antonyms has helped you understand how the process is, how we need to prepare, right? So I wish you all the best in your preparation. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.